When you dilate a figure, your perimeter changes by your scale factor. Let me explain what I mean. Let's say we take this rectangle and we use a scale factor of 1.5 or 1.5. That would create sides that were 1.5 times longer and a length 1.5 times longer. So 2 times 1.5 is 3, 6 times 1.5 is 9. Label all of your sides of your figures. Now our original perimeter was 12 plus 4 is 16. And our new perimeter is 12 plus 12. Our new perimeter is 24. Now you can draw a picture and work it that way, or you can use your knowledge that the perimeter will be one and a half times longer. You could take your old perimeter times your scale factor should give you your new perimeter. So let's try that out. Our old perimeter was 16. Our scale factor was 1.5. 16 times 1.5 is 24. And that was our new perimeter. This idea also works with circles and circumference. So if we have a diameter of 10 on a circle, we know the circumference is about 3 times around, so we know the circumference of this circle is about 30. So if we dilate it again, let's use a scale factor of 1.5. So our diameter will be 10 plus another 5. So our circumference here, so our diameter is now 15, which means our circumference is about 3 times that much, about 45. Now, could we have used old perimeter times our scale factor equals our new perimeter on the circle, even though perimeter is pretty much the same word for circumference for a circle? So let's try it. We had 30 times 1.5, and sure enough, we got 45. So it will work with the formula or by drawing a picture.